All right, so, ow, that hurt. I just leaned back and hit my, oh, I smashed my back against some wood because my bed, my pillow wasn't there when it should have been. Anyways, what is going on? I've got a battle here against uh, Maker. Um, I've probably battled this guy a, a lot lately. Uh, we battle like every day because we're both in TPX, we're both really bored, and we both like four gen, fourth gen when not very many other people do. So that's probably why you see a lot of him. Um... Anyways, uh, he's been stalling me out lately. He likes to bring, like, the crappiest crap to stall with. So I just said, F it, I'm going to bring six sweepers and see what I can do against his new team. Because I was anticipating stall, which, looking at his team, you can see he's kind of got some stall going on. He's got Bronzong, which is a big problem, and Gardevoir, which likes to stall, and Hippowdon, which can slack off all day. So, um, like I said, he's going to lead with his uh, Bronzong, and I've got Lucario. Uh, he can't really hurt me, but that... It's a Bronzong, and that, that thing stops sweeps for days. And uh, unless I get, like, plus six, Fire Punch is the only thing that's going to be hurt that thing, and that's on my Dragonite. So I set up an SD, because even if you wanted to Earthquake or blow up, uh, I do have a Focus Sash, so I would have been able to live just fine. And right here, I thought a Close Combat would kill the Hepowdon, but apparently not. If I had known that he would survive, I would have went for another SD. Even though another Earthquake's coming, I am Sashed. Um, but basically, I've got to keep my Dragonite alive, because... Uh, because of his Bronzong, uh, that thing's just going to wall me all day long, because Bronzong is too good. Like, I really should start using it more, because it is such a monster. It's so hard to take down. Um, even without recovery, it's so hard. Anyways, he's going to withdraw and go into the Starmie. Uh, I, he has been carrying Dust Noir a lot uh, against me lately, so I just went for Crunch, fearing a switch into that to absorb a close combat. But, um... No, he just went to Starmie, which gets one hit KO'd, which is awesome. Now he's going to go into this uh, Kabutops, which is going to take any extreme speed. I went for E speed because I knew he'd Aqua Jet, and I'd be faster with extreme speed. And um, yeah, so I may as well get some damage in on there. And I'm not gonna, I'm not about to come back in because he does have a Pout on still, so he could probably get rocks up at some point if he so chooses. So I go to my Zelf here, uh, pretty much. Uh, pr um, I thought like I could take a hit pretty well which I'd end up doing, and then I'd be able to hit him with pretty much whatever I want for a KO, uh, which I end up doing. So I guess, why wouldn't I go to Azelf? I could have went to anything, and I figured Azelf's probably my most useless now, because I think it's Sashed and Sand is up, so he's probably my most useless. And um, now I'm going to switch out into Cress um, against his Gardevoir, because Gardevoir is going to wall Azelf all day, because it is a special monster. And uh, I think I'm just going to go right for a Toxic, uh, because I can. I saw that he has Trace. Um, and even if he did sink it over, I do have rest, and he, it turns out he just burned me. Um, I don't know why he wanted to burn an Azelf, maybe he predicted a physical attacker to come in, which I guess would make sense. Uh, so I got the Toxic off, and he goes for a Wish, he, I guess he's trying to potentially heal his Apowdon, uh, which I think he actually switches out to right here, I guess trying to get the Wish, maybe he thought I'd Calm Mind, I'm not entirely sure what his entire thought process was, but, uh, as you can see... In a second, once yes, he both draws. It is not going to work. Uh, I don't know why he tried to pass wish. Like I would have thought, like slacking off would be a better idea. But to each his own, I guess. Uh, no big deal. So he's down two, I think, right now. His Starmie and Hippowdon, and uh, I'm still looking pretty good. Uh, I've still got four sweepers, four and a half. Um, I, I consider Crest a sweeper. It's it's got, it's got calm mind. It's a sweeper. Um, I'm just going to go for an Ice Beam against this uh, Bronzong. I know it's not going to do anything, I just want to see what, what he wants to do. And he chooses to set up Stealth Rocks. So, uh, the Rocks are going to be an Annoyance, but not not really, actually. Like, Dragonite's my only Flying type, and um, I've really lost both my Sashes. So, uh, they're not going to hinder me too much. And I'm going to go for Rest right now. Uh, just in case he wanted to blow up, I figured like he'd try to... I, I'm trying to coax him into blowing up, because I know he can't kill Cress. And uh, if Cress has all our HP, he might be tempted to just explode and then kill himself for me, at which point anything can come in and uh, pretty much finish him off. However, that's not the case. He chooses... He just wants to gyro ball me all day, and then he's... I guess he's trying to save his gyro balls, and he just goes for Stealth Rock again. I'm not sure what his other moves are. I guess Earthquake and Explosion, and he just doesn't want to blow up. So he's just going for Stealth Rock because he knows it's a fruitless, futile to go for Gyro Balls, and he probably doesn't have that many left. I forget how much PP that thing has. I honestly have no idea. 
So I'm predicting him to just go for Stealth Rock again, uh, because that's what he's been doing, and he's just tr he's trying to save PP because he figures he's gonna have to PP stall my crest at some point. So I just go to his elf for free, which is awesome. I get a Thunderbolt off it for free, which is awesome. I guess I don't have Flamethrower on this as elf, which is kind of a flaw. I know. Whatever. I've only got one fire type move on this whole team. I, and at this point, I'm assuming he's Levitate and not Heatproof. Like, every Bronzong is Levitate. So, right, I decide right now I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to go to Dragonite and hit him with a Fire Punch. I know it's not going to take him out or anything, but it's it's going to take him down there. It's going to be super effective, etc. Life Orb, Max Attack. And he goes for Hidden Power, and it's Hidden Power Ice. And I was like, what? Uh, I didn't expect that to be his fourth move, but uh, it turns out it did less than 200 points to my Dragonite. And that's times four, so I wonder how much special attack he's got. It uh, must be next to none. Um, now he's going to go out into Gardevoir, and I just went for Outrage, uh, because I figured, well, an Outrage would probably take it out, because it is Stab. Uh, it is resisted, but I figured it would probably do the trick just as well, plus I only had one shot left anyways. And it actually nearly takes out the Gardevoir. I'm actually kind of surprised it lived, since I am, well, I am Jolly, so. Um, but I am 252 in attack. So... He goes right back into Bronzong, which is kind of expected. I go to Zam, because I figure, well, a Shadow Ball will probably take it out, because I am Spexed. Uh, obviously, a Psychic wouldn't do it, because it's times for resistant, and I don't kill it. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't want to risk a Focus Blast miss, so I didn't go for that. Um, I forget what my hidden power is, because I haven't used that Zam in forever. So I didn't want to pray it was fire, because it, was, it, it could have been, like, fighting or something. I don't know. And... Um, now I've just got to go to Titar, and this is my last stand, pretty much. i got to go for Crunch, that'll take it out, thank god, and it all depends on what his sixth is. Uh, and it turns out it is a Kingdra, so that's going, that thing's going to be able to eat a Stone Edge, set up a Rain Dance, and then proceed to kill me. Uh, so it's looking like good game for Maker. Uh, he's, he's just going to Surf me, and because, I, because the Rain is up and not Sand... Um, my Special Defense is down, but he misses Hydro Pump. I don't know why he went for Hydro Pump, maybe he thought... I don't know, but that, that was incredibly lucky and incredibly close finish in just what was a fun match, pretty much. So uh, that's, uh, that's all you can really hope for in a uh, fun match like that. So I, I guess he had a weird team kind of going on there. He had a dual weather. He had rain. He had half a rain team and half a sand team, and then a Gardevoir. So uh, that was a good game maker. Again, we've played a lot of good games. And um, yeah, that was, that was really fun to just bring six guys who can sweep and... Uh, I know I shouldn't have won, but it was really fun to see them be successful and get a win in their only time that they've been used. Together, that is. Anyways, uh, I want to thank you all for watching, and um, I'm going to try and fix my computer soon, once I get that thermal paste in.